Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another retro collection action figure review. We've got the Armourer as displayed in the sort of craptastic looking packaging with the craptastic looking big sticker. Really love the artwork for the card, um, but yeah, much, much nicer on the uh, regular vintage line. But the figure looks cool, um, yeah, finally got the last two, so I'll be doing reviews on the armor, and next up will be the Death Trooper, so stay tuned for that one coming up. Um, yeah, again, it's a it's a cool looking figure, a nice interpretation of, of the figure in a vintage way. I think it's really, really cool. I'm looking forward to having a good look at it. So yeah, same sort of thing on the back, nothing too special about the packaging, so I think it's straight into it and rip it open and uh, have a good look at the figure inside. All the rubbish. Two weapons, which is cool. And you know what? These actually feel sturdier than the ones that came with the TBC version, so that might actually leave you a little bit of a nicer swap. If you wanted to um, swap them out. Oh, okay, they've gone with soft goods on this. I like that. That's cool. That was kind of unexpected. That's really nice. And uh, yeah, I didn't actually notice the elastic band, so you can actually remove this. That's really cool. All right, let's zoom up and have a better look. Here we go. So yeah, weapon-wise, comes with her... I was calling them tongs, I don't know. <laughs> it's the, uh, the holder thingies. And then her smacking thingy, hammer. So that's cool. I don't know, I'm digging this figure a lot more than I thought, just because of that soft goods feature, which is very reminiscent of what they did with some of the uh, Return of the Jedi figures of, of back in the day. Oh, that's, that's really cool. I really appreciate the effort they've put into that. So you can remove that. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that on. That's actually a really really cool feature. Kudos Hasbro for that. That's it's a nice little feature. Not even the uh, vintage collection version got it. But yeah, it doesn't really work with the rear really super realistic. But uh, yeah, it definitely works on the vintage version. This is really cool. Dig the helmet with the spikes. Love that look. It's definitely sort of fitting in with the shape of the sort of Kenner Boba Fett, and the uh, Bo-Katan Mandalorian Boba Fett that I've just reviewed. So now how will that sort of fit in the armor's hands? There we go, that looks good. Really nice. Again, really hitting that sort of color scheme. You know, it was very basic, but it uh, stands out. There's sort of the brown and the red, the gold. Sort of really nice, sort of warm colors for this figure. I, I like that a lot. Done a good job. One of the legs feels a little loose, but it's not a big deal. It's, uh, it's not too bad, actually. It's just the way I was holding it, I think. It's a little bit wobbly, but it's not too bad. It's not going to fall over and bend like some of the old figures. I've got a I've got a Death Star droid that just goes. <laughs> it's not that great, but this is cool. I like it. Some weapons are cool. Yeah, really cool character. I'm, I'm, I tell you what, you know, I've. I think I've changed my stance on the retro. You know, after sort of getting over it a little bit. Um, no, no, I've sort of been pulled back in. I hope they do a third wave. I don't know, uh, Luke Skywalker, Paz Vizsla. Who else? Who else would you put in the retro line for a wave free of Mandalorian retro figures? We are getting six Obi-Wan Kenobi figures later in the year. But I don't know. What would your, if you had to pick three Retro figures for a third Mandalorian wave, who would it be? Love to hear your thoughts. Please send out in the comments down below. 
and I'll be back with the Death Trooper for the next video. So until then, may the force be with you, and this is the way.